down to this. We are playing a game called Call of Laura's Gunslinger. And we just gonna get right into it real quick. What's going on here? It's loud, eh? Oh, they got whips, though. Oh, shit. Don't I know you, sir? Don't believe so. I haven't been here in many years. Named Silas Greaves. Silas Greaves? The bounty hunter? He used to be. Ah, well, what are you doing here in Abilene? Just passing through. Got a little business to take care of. Well, sir, it would be an honor if you would allow me to buy you a beer. Hell, son, it would be my honor to drink it. Hell I'm Molly. Yeah. Howdy. I'm Dwight. That's Jack and Steve. Ben's behind the bar. Oh, I bet you got some great stories. A couple. <laughs> Any of them true? Jack, be nice. A few. What about your shootout with Henry Plummer's gang in Bannock, Montana? Is that where you started as a bounty hunter? That's what it says in this here dime novel. Don't believe everything you read in them dime novels, boy. First man I hunted was back when I was riding with Billy the Kid. You knew Billy the Kid? Damn right. Billy the Kid. That scrawny son of a bitch had no fear. Wouldn't back down for nobody. I heard he collected the tin stars off any crooked lawman who crossed it. It was a war, boy. The Lincoln County War, and Billy promised his regulators would take the life of every bastard who helped bushwhack John Tunstall. Kid had a big chip on his shoulder and a hair trigger temper. Made him dangerous as hell. It was about 30 years ago. Billy was hiding out in an abandoned farm near Stinking Springs. All right, we're in, boys. I threw in with the kid because the man I had sworn vengeance on was riding with Billy's enemies. But before I tell you why I want that some bitch dead, let me tell you what happened that day. I was heading back to the hideout when suddenly I had this funny feeling. Funny, haha? -ha? No, Steve. The other kind of funny. Shitty funny? <laughs> Stay here and keep an eye on the road. That's not fair. We're missing all the fun. I knew those two morons would never let me through. I had no choice. What the hell? Shoot that son of a bitch! <laughs> Was it Pat Garrett's posse? Oh yeah. I heard the shots and I knew I had to move fast. So that's just what I did. Let's go. As the governor of New Mexico was paying for the kid's apprehension, Garrett was able to hire every gun hand in Lincoln County. Oh shit, oh shit, fucked up. Oh shit. <laughs> My land. You're dead. Where the hell Garrett's men were Never running around like a bunch of chickens with their heads cut send off. These some bitches running. Still, one of them reached the water tower. Not a bad idea. It would be a turkey shoot from up there. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Let's see. What the fuck? Oh! This is the wrong fucking button. 
Luckily, uh. these shooters Garrett hired weren't the sharpest tools in the shed. They're dumb as fuck. A lot of them were saddle tramps, or sod busters, or drunken drifters looking to make a few bucks. Let's go. Then, I heard a friendly voice yelling at me from the window. Back door! We'll cover you! Truth be told, things weren't much better behind the house. I cut their numbers in half. But that just made the ones that were left twice as mad. They made up for their lack of skill with a seemingly endless supply of ammo. It was a bit of a slog, but I finally fought my way around the back of the house. And like that, you I was inside. Dead, None the worse for wear. Can't shut the door? Okay. I passed Dirty Dave. In a a and upstairs, I found Billy and Charlie Baldry. How about that? Huh? You like that? Is that Billy the Kid? Billy looked at me and said, About time, amigo! Grab a gun and get to the window! <laughs> Wait, so you were friends with Billy the Kid? Yeah, sort of. Anyway, we were surrounded by dozens of deputized shooters who wanted to do us harm. Hey! It's an unlimited amount of gang members. That's when Charlie got hit. They're catching us in a crossfire, shouted Billy. Get to the other side. I don't know how many of those cocksuckers I personally put down, but it was pretty clear, even to Billy, that maybe discretion was the better part of valor. What's that mean? It means that it was time to cut and run. They got a gallon, Billy shouted. Get the horses and bring them round back. I'll draw their attention. He directed that order at me. And I thought, why the hell do I have to do it? But I went anyway. Dumbass that I was back then. Oh, shit. Many would have fled in my place. But I had that false sense of invincibility that many young men have. Like Jack here. What are you saying, old man? Jack, he's just joshing with me. Yeah, he better be. Ooh, Mr. Graves, please baby. continue. Please, call me Silas, ma'am. Now, uh, where was I? You were heading for the barn. Making my way past a passel of fallen folk. Dude, that was Sounds gangster. like Garrett hired a whole regiment of hired guns. Yeah, and just when I thought I was done with them, more of these hapless bastards would pop up. I'm looking forward to this shit. This actually, and this that's when different. I met Sheriff Pat Garrett. I read that you went toe to toe with him, sir. That backstabbing bastard with that tacked on tin star. What happened? Is that him? Pat Garrett. You challenged him to a showdown. You read that in a dime novel? It said he showed no fear as he took your measure with eyes like a rattlesnake.
focus on him, bro. We're gonna get him. We're gonna get him. And that you killed him in a fair fight. <laughs> Is that what that penny dreadful said? No, boy. That ain't what I meant when I said I met Pat Garrett. What? So let me start again. I finally reached those damn staples. Oh, for fuck's sake. And stepped inside and BAM! Uh. Last thing I heard was Garrett's voice. That's not Billy. And go on, how did it end? And, boy, that was just the beginning. Nice. All right. Pretty hard, uh, pretty hard intro. I liked it. So what happened? Did Garrett arrest you? Yeah, after I came to, the bastard had clocked me with his colt. And the kid surrendered? When he realized there was no getting out of there alive. So they locked you up in Lincoln? Indeed they did. Sentenced me to hang right along with the kid. It's important to know that I was only riding with Billy so I could find the bastard I was after. Yeah. He was with John Kinney's gang, and they were sworn enemies of Billy's regulators. Why were you after him? I owed that son of a bitch a bullet for what he had done to me and mine. Instead, all I got for myself was a goddamn death sentence. Luckily, it was right around then that I heard Billy make his move. People are getting smoked out there. He shot Jim Bell and a few other guards as he made his getaway. Later, they wrote that some lady friend planted a pistol for him in the privy. What the papers didn't say is that Billy helped me escape, too. There you go. Thank My you, first Billy. order of business was finding a firearm. Luckily, I located Deputy Bob Ollinger's mean-ass shotgun. That's a crazy cutscene for just a shotgun. I saw Billy through the window, and he yelled that I should take to the rooftops to make my escape. So I did. Anybody see Billy? So we did. Oh! Alright, that's... I see that coming. The kid's escape raised a huge ruckus. This, uh, this weapon's pretty serious. Hell yeah! That scatter gun was like a double-barreled howitzer. There you go. Switch it up. I'm hurt, yo. I'm hurt. I'm hurt. So much lead was whizzing by my head, it was like everyone in Lincoln wanted to put me in the ground. I knew I needed to find a horse. Though I never did have a great fondness for those four-legged grass eaters. But where was the kid while you were busy getting shot at? Gone. And that's when it occurred to me why Billy set me free. What? So I could be a hapless decoy and draw attention while he snuck out of town. Anyway, it was me or them, and the only way forward led me straight to perdition. But the cards were dealt, and I had no choice but to play it. I guess Billy saved your ass, taking out Bob Ollinger the way he did. Billy didn't kill Bob. Well, sure he did. He dispatched him right after he shot Deputy Bell. No, sir because Bob came right up behind me, angry as hell that Billy had lit out. Hello, Bob, I said. I think you better let me go. And he says, I don't think so, boy. Not with my shotgun. 
So we stood there in the middle of the street, eyeball to eyeball. He intended to kill me, and I knew I had no choice but to defend myself. Alright, we got this, we got this. Come on, man. You got me! Oh, I got him too, though. We got him this time. We got him this time. We got Some him. Some say I fought unfairly, but they weren't the ones looking him in the eye that day. Pat Garrett gunned down Billy three months later, so his escape was all for naught anyway. All right, all right, all right. We're gonna stop right here. We're gonna stop right here. Okay. Looking forward to the series. It's gonna be fun. Uh, Call Warras, Gunslinger. You already know. All right, we got one guy down, and I think uh, this is gonna be a short game. I think it's nine to three hours long, so it's gonna be good. It's gonna be fun, and you already know. Check out the next chapter. Like and subscribe. I'm out. Peace.